Well, joining us tonight is Sidney Powell, a member of President Trump's legal team, General Flynn's uh, defense attorney, a great American and prominent uh, appellate lawyer. Great to have you with us, Sidney. Uh, let's start with Thank Dominion. You, uh, a, a, str a straight out disavowal of uh, any uh, claim uh, of fraud against the company, its uh, software or machines. Your reaction? Well, I can hardly wait to put forth all the evidence we have collected on Dominion, starting with the fact it was created to produce altered voting results in Venezuela for Hugo Chavez, and then shipped internationally to manipulate votes for purchase in other countries, including this one. It was funded by money from Venezuela and Cuba, and, and China has a role in it also. So if you want to talk about foreign election interference, we certainly have it now. We have staggering statistical evidence. We have staggering testimony from witnesses, including one who was personally in briefings when all of this was discussed and planned, beginning with Hugo Chavez and how it was designed there, and then saw it happening in this country. As soon as the state shut down on election night and stopped counting, those are the states where the most egregious problems occurred. We also need to look at and we're beginning to collect evidence on the financial interests of some of the governors and secretaries of state who actually bought into the Dominion systems, surprisingly enough. Hunter Biden type graft to line their own pockets by getting a voting machine in that would either make sure their election was successful or they got money for their family from it. Well, that's straightforward. It may take, uh, you're going to have to be quick to, to go through and to produce that investigation and the results of it. Uh, the, December, uh, the December deadlines are approaching uh, for electors, and uh, just as we saw in uh, 2000 with Bush v. Gore, uh, how critical are those deadlines and how urgent does that make your investigation and discovery? Well, for fraud this serious, I think even if the states are stupid enough to go ahead and certify the votes where we know the machines were operating and producing altered election results, if they're stupid enough to do that, then they will be set aside by the fraud also. I mean, we are talking about hundreds of thousands of votes. President Trump won this election in a landslide. It's gonna be irrefutable and we are, patriots are coming forward all every day, all day, faster than we can collect their information with the testimony they're willing to give under oath about how their votes were stolen and how the machines operated. They were updated the night of the election, sometimes after the election. We've got statistical evidence that shows hundreds of thousands of votes being just put in and replicated. It, it's going to be there needs to be a massive criminal investigation, and it's going to affect millions of voters and elections. With these allegations, these charges, is the FBI already carrying out uh, an investigation of these voting companies uh, where their servers are domiciled? And in at least two instances, three instances, uh, we know they're in foreign countries. Uh, tell us where the Justice Department is in all of this. Uh, I wish I knew. I'm not on the inside, so I'm not privy to that information. I know that even Democratic senators and Congress people for years have reported problems with this system to the FBI and to the government, and nobody's done a blooming thing about it. The people in the election security part of Department of Homeland Security need to be fired yesterday. They're absolutely ridiculous. Of course, Chris Ray needs to be fired, too, because the only FBI interview of any witness was to intimidate him and try to get him to change his truthful testimony four hours by an anti-Trump FBI agent. They still have politics infecting the FBI instead of just following the law. 
we are on the precipice of this is essentially a new American revolution. And anybody who wants this country to remain free needs to step up right now. These are federal felonies. Altering a vote or uh, changing a ballot is a federal felony. People need to come forward now and get on the right side of this issue and report the fraud they know existed in Dominion voting systems because that's what it was created to do. It was its sole original purpose. It has been used all over the world to defy the will of people who wanted freedom. Cindy, at the outset of this broadcast, I said that this is the culmination of what has been a, over a four-year effort to overthrow this president, to first deny his candidacy uh, uh, d uh, the uh, election, but then uh, to overthrow his presidency. This looks like the effort to, uh, to carry out an end game in the, in the effort against him. Uh, do you concur? Oh, absolutely. And it's, uh, it's been uh, organized and, and conducted with the help of Silicon Valley people, the, the big tech companies, the social media companies, and even the media companies. And I'm going to release the Kraken. Well, good, because this is, uh, this is, this is an extraordinary and, uh, and such a dangerous moment in our history. Uh, I really am very concerned uh, for the country. Uh, I am very concerned for all Americans. I, and I have a feeling that most Democrats are first Americans and not Democrats. They have to be as alarmed as any one of us. Uh, Cindy, we're glad that you are on the, uh, on the, on the charge. Uh, to straighten out all of this. It is a, a foul mess, uh, and it is uh, far more sinister than any of us could have imagined, uh, even uh, over the course of the past four years. You get the last word, Sydney. It is indeed a very foul mess. It is farther and wider and deeper than we ever thought, but we are going to go after it, and I am going to expose every one of them. Sydney Powell. Thanks for being with us and thanks for all that you're doing. We appreciate it. A great American.